I'm gonna make these simple app covers more complex using Photoshop. Starting with CapCut, which is a video editing software that released in 2020, but you probably know it more for the templates on TikTok. But the cover is supposed to be scissors because that's one of the main functions in a video editing software. You have to cut videos up. I didn't know that was scissors until I read that. I just don't really like how the edges are sharp over here, but then smooth on this side. So let's take some rectangles and recreate the logo, but make it all sharp with just rectangles. I also created a rectangle that looks like an audio file inside of the app because that is something you can cut when you're in CapCut. So we're going to place that behind the scissors and that's pretty easy, but to make it a little bit more complex I'll just add a bevel and emboss and this is the final cover The next app cover I'm gonna overcomplicate is the Numbers app. And I don't even know what this app does, but I don't think it really matters because I'm just making the cover. So I searched the internet for some inspiration and found this image. So I'm gonna do something similar to this. First, I'm gonna replicate the background and add a grid, but also add a green glow that gets dimmer as it goes out. Next, I recreated the rectangles like on the original, but made the white more clear and made the outside green. After that, I'm just gonna add a green outer glow and that's pretty much it. So here's the Numbers app, but a little bit more complicated. The next app I'm going to overcomplicate is Instagram. Threads. <laughs> the old Instagram logo was actually pretty sick and it was kind of overcomplicated. So I kind of want to do something with the same vibe as that, but for the Threads app because it's part of Instagram. But since the app is called Threads, it kind of made me think of sewing and yarn and stuff. So first I started off by placing some wood as the background and then a ball of yarn on the top right with some shadows. I ended up changing the colors to purple and made another one that's orange because those are kind of the colors that Instagram uses now. I also added a sewing needle on the top left and a pin on the right but I took that out later. But following that, I added some highlights on the left and some shadows on the right. Then I added some rope and used the puppet warp tool to shape it into the at symbol. This was actually kind of satisfying to do, I'm not gonna lie. After that, I added a little drop shadow and changed the color of the rope to brown. Finally, I cut out and added a seam ripper to replace that pin, and then added some shadows and changed the color to yellow. So this is Instagram threads, but complex. If you're enjoying the video, don't forget to like, and if you wanna see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Next, let's make the Honey app more complex because recently they've gotten some flack for being a scam. But this app cover is just an H, it's pretty simple, so yeah, we can make this more complex. So I added a honeycomb background and added the H back, but added a drop shadow to the left. Next, I added some honey on the top of the H and removed the unwanted parts, but to make it stand out a little more, I added a black stroke around the H, and that's basically it. For the final app, let's take this lame ass Nike app and make it look cool. <laughs> All of Nike's apps are pretty much the same, just a, just a tiny bit different, but they're, they're very simple. But today I'm taking the Nike Running Coach app because I feel like I can do more with this concept. So first I added a checkered flag as the background and removed all the color. Next, I put a metal texture on the logo and added a bevel and emboss, as well as a black outer glow. But after that, it was still feeling kind of bland. So to make it stick out more, I changed the logo color to red. And I thought I was done here, but then I remembered that Nike had an elephant print. So I thought it'd be cool to have that instead of the metal texture. So that's what I did but I couldn't really decide which one I liked more, so you guys gotta let me know in the comments. But I do think my favorite is the Nike app, but I also really like the threads redesign, but the other ones are still cool. So you guys gotta let me know which one you like the most in the comments. Thank you for watching, and if you wanna watch more, click one of these videos.